Hey everybody, I'm going to talk a little bit today about one of the big variables in jerkbait fishing and that's color selection. And you know, I've always said that jerkbait fishing is the most difficult technique to learn to catch fish because you do have so many different variables, whether it be color, cadence, retrieve, uh, line size, whatever like that. But the biggest question that I get, you know, in all the instructional uh, jerkbait trips that I do is, you know, what color do I need to use? What's the best color of jerkbait? What's your favorite color? My answer to that is I don't have any favorite color. And you have, you, you don't have any way to really determine the best color of a jerkbait until you listen to the fish. Because you'll hear people talk about jerkbait fish and say, oh, you need to use this color under this condition or this color under that condition. And I haven't found that to be true at all. I found out that the fish want a certain color under certain conditions and that changes day by day. And particularly like with the mega bass lineup, it's sort of hard to get caught up in colors because you know, mega bass offers over a hundred different colors. So I sort of want to give you a few tips on as a starting point so it's not quite so intimidating. Basically, I like to classify my jerkbait colors into three different colors without going into the specific color patterns of each jerkbait. Within the mega bass line, which I use, is you've got three basic different colors. You've got the what's called the GG finish, which is the metallic finish, like this. You've got the SP finish, which is the translucent finish, the sort of the see-through. And then you have the, the PM finish, which is the uh, flat matte finish, like this. And when you're talking in terms of jerkbait colors to select, this is what you need to focus on. You need to focus on do I want a metallic finish? Do I want a see-through finish? Or do I want a matte flat finish? Don't get caught up in like specific colors because I've heard so much in jerkbait fishing, somebody will say, well, you know, the only thing they want is the table rock shad like this. They don't, this is the one they want. And then the, the very same day you'll hear, you'll hear somebody say, well, the, the only thing they're gonna bite is a pro blue. So don't get caught up in that specific color. Think in terms of metallic side, clear side, or flat finish side. So when you get out there, one of the questions you have to ask yourself is, you know, you gotta start somewhere. It's like, you know, what color do I use to pick under what conditions? Water clarity and sky conditions, to me, are the biggest two factors in determining what colors to select. Basically, just for the 101 jerkbait fishing, what you wanna remember is anytime you have clear water, which I consider clear water visibility, over four foot visibility. I like to go with the uh, translucent finishes, the SP finishes like this. You know, it reflects a lot of see-through light in there. It's a little bit more subtle, seems to work a little bit better. When you're fishing cloudy days or days that uh, the water clarity may have, uh, you know, a little bit of stain to it, like say two to three foot of visibility, you know, I, I like the flat finish, the, the matte finish like this. Seems like it'll produce a little bit better in cloudy weather. And if you're fishing sunny, partly cloudy days, uh, and that typical jerkbait water clarity, which is three to five feet, a lot of times I'll go with the metallic finish like that. Also, if it's windy, the metallic finish seems to work a little bit better. Um, those are three particular guidelines like that. But the thing to remember on jerkbait fishing is don't get locked up into color. The thing that you want to remember is the first fish of the day, number one, tells you that there's fish in this area. And here's an example of the way I like to start the day. Say I go out and I, and I start out throwing the table rock shad on a, on a main lake point and say I catch one. That tells me that there's fish on that particular point. Now to maximize that area and to really dial in on the specific colors. Once I get into an area where I know there's some fish, that's when I'll experiment with different colors. I, I may catch one on the table rock shad, and then I may pick up and try a translucent color, or I may pick up and try a metallic finish. And I'll try that for maybe like five or 10 minutes to sort of give myself a feel for, you know, if that, what they want the best. Because what I'm looking is I'm trying to find the color that will maximize the quantity and quality of the fish that I'm catching. And why these are guidelines that I'm talking about as far as water clarity and sky visibility, um, that changes throughout the day because the, the wind speed will change, that the angle of the sun will change, that sometimes you'll have clouds move in and, and the, the light intensity is a little bit more or a little bit less. And every time that changes, your color selection may change. What works at eight o'clock in the morning may not work at one o'clock in the afternoon based upon the fact that the wind and the water clarity and the sky conditions are changing. That's why, again, I say jerkbait fishing is one of the most complex 
technique that you have is because these variables are always changing like that. Don't let that intimidate you as far as that goes. It's a matter of experimentation. I can't tell you how many times that I've been fishing where I've been locked in on a particular color and I go back to the same lake time and time again and this is my favorite color. Then I'll take somebody with me that tries a completely different color and they'll wind up you know, catching a lot more fish than I do. So just remember, the big keys on jerkbait fishing when you're selecting color is stay with the basics, think, think in terms of metallic finishes, clear finishes, or matte finishes, and be creative, be open-minded, be willing to switch up that a little bit. Um, try something for five minutes. If it's not working, put it down and try something else. Um, just using this system will take a little bit of that intimidation factor away from it and um, add up to a little bit more success for your jerkbait fishing.